So just a really quick project today. I've um, got myself one of these um, power banks off eBay. Uh, really quite cheap, just a few dollars and I'll link it in in the video down below. You have to even assemble the uh, the little light in the end there yourself and this, uh, this power button. So I've done that already. Popped a couple of leads on there for the positive and the negative from the batteries. Of course these are made for um, 18650 cells. I've got four cells here which are reasonable but not fantastic. A couple of amp hours each just above maybe. Um, so I thought they'd uh, fit in there quite nicely. They all fit in parallel. So it's a 1S 4P sort of arrangement that goes in here. And I'm just going to weld some uh, strip on there just to get the battery terminals done quickly. Anyway, I'll set that up. As with my other battery packs, I'm just going to uh, pop on these little fibre washers just to protect the edges of the cell. As I've said before, the negative of the cell runs all the way up through the side of the cell here. And so if that um, mylar gets cut there, there's a reasonable likelihood that you're going to get a short circuit. So just a little bit of extra protection. Done. I'm going to use a short length of pure nickel strip. Not to worry about the thickness and amperage or all this uh, sort of business. This is always a fairly low duty application. I'm just leave a little bit on the end so I can easily. Uh, Solder to that. And once I'm at it, I'll just cut the other length. Put that to one side. The welder's all set up. around a little bit. Let's see if I can just get the uh, fourth battery done. I'll help tie them together a bit. Now tied together. I guess uh, if you had a, a hot, hot glue gun, uh, you might want to stick these together. I guess I prefer. I don't have a hot glue gun, so I can't do it. But um, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so what I've decided, um, we have the positive coming down here. So I just bent back this positive lead, and that keeps the sharp edge away from the negative side battery and on the negative end I've decided to bend that back slightly because uh, there's not so much room down this end of the uh, printed circuit board and so it'll all go in uh, like so. 
Now to further get this battery pack to wrapped up, I've got some large heat shrink, so I'm going to cut a length of this up and just heat shrink that around the body of the batteries, but leaving the terminals exposed. So I sort of guessed how much um, sleeving I'm going to need. And I've cut it just a little bit longer, the battery, because I expect it not only obviously to shrink in um, its, uh, I guess its diameter to clamp the batteries, but also I expect it to shrink in length a little bit. Let's see if I've got this anywhere near the right size. Okay, I've got the battery in. I've just realigned this negative terminal to come around to the front of the battery here. The, um, the casing wouldn't um, shut with it actually on the side here. So I think we should be okay now. So the casing sort of hinges from this back edge first. It snaps into position. And then coming up the side. And finally, to see, that's that side. And I think that's in. Yeah, we just didn't hear that final click, but um, I think that's as good as this casing is going to be. So, there we have it all together. It's a sort of piano black, very shiny finish, uh, showing all my uh, sticky fingers, so I'll just give it a bit of a polish to see how it should look. Okay, let's have a quick test. Got a um, tester here, 5 volt tester, USB tester, and so we'll pop it into the uh, 1 amp socket. There's two output sockets on here, there's 1 amp and it marked up uh, 2.1 for the other one on the right hand side. Obviously the centre one is the uh, charging socket, so unfortunately I think the uh, USB key is upside down. Okay. So as soon as you plug something in it actually fires up. I didn't switch the button on or anything. Shows the percentage full and it's showing 5.1 volts, 0 amps because I don't have anything connected as yet. If I just pop my phone on, what does the dog and bone say? Charging, charging slowly and it's charging at half an amp. I wonder what the other socket does. A little over half an amp. 
Yep, a little bit more. Maybe the D plus and the D minus are actually shorted out there for Samsung devices. I don't know. I, I, I haven't checked. But anyway, it's uh, charging at nearly 600 uh, milliamps, which is pretty good for a little power bank. Just turning it back over again. And yeah, it shows you which um, which actual output you're connected. The only other thing to check then is just maybe to have a look at the charging of it. Let's pop this out. Or that lead. Bring in a rather old but trusty power bank. And let's see what happens when we connect in. Yep, and the input starts flashing. So, not particularly spectacular. I don't think there's anything you can do you, apart from obviously switch the light on with a double click. The backlight is a nice blue backlight and it um, goes off after a few seconds I've noticed of, of not pressing any buttons or not plugging anything in. But it still displays because it's an LCD, which is good. Um, yeah, and I think a long press switches off, but probably, oops, that's okay, that went off. A long press switches it off, yeah, when nothing's connected, but um, yeah, it doesn't do anything when something is connected. The only downside I'd say, yeah, with this being really shiny, man, does it show the fingerprints. Anyway, that's enough for today. See you now. Just before I go, I guess um, just adding up the four cells that we've got in there, uh, they were all over two amp hours each. So looking at uh, a bank like this and uh, a phone like uh, the Samsung and S4 rather old one that I've got here, this has got a two amp hour battery in it. So yeah, you could probably run a phone for an additional four days with one of these power banks. So yeah, you could probably get get by with a, a week's camping possibly if you're away from uh, a charging point with with a bank like this. Anyway, thought you'd just like to know that. See ya.